probably the most well-known floating point unit bug that Intel is famous for having is the FDIF bug, which found its way into Pentium processors, both socket 4 and socket 5, such as this one right here. This is a Pentium 66 FDIF bug, SX836 processor. And uh, it's more common to find it in the Pentium 6066s than it is the later ones. However, it did find its way into Pentium 75, 90, and 100s. Uh, I do have such a processor, the Pentium 90 to be exact. It is a gold top chip just like this. Uh, and it is FDIF bugged. They're rarer in those models, but you can still find them. What if I was to tell you that Intel managed to develop another floating point unit bug later on? It found its way into the P6 core. Both Pentium Pro and Pentium 2 were affected by this bug. And in this video, I'm going to be testing three systems to see if we can find this bug, which is called the fist bug. So we're going to be fist bugging some computers in this video first one I'm going to fist bug is Callisto. We'll see if she's got a dirty processor up in that motherboard. Then I'm going to uh, dig out the Sony Vio Pentium 2, 3, uh, 233 system that I did a video about on this channel. Uh, it's like one of the first ones I did. I haven't ran that system for a while, so it's good to give it a little bit of a workout. And I'm also going to be uh, testing this Pentium Pro system I've got right here. It's a uh, Dalco brand computer. This is one I pulled out of the uh, shop a couple years ago for the in one of those mega vintage haul videos I did. Great little system. Beat blood on that system. Quite quite good actually. Um, and we'll see if the uh, fist bug is present on that system. So should be interesting. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get some fist bugging action going here, shall we? <coughs> All right, booting up the system, you can see it's a Pentium 2 at 300 megahertz. So we'll see if this one has the fist bug or not. All right, let's go ahead and we'll get logged in. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy the utility over to the hard drive here so I'll be back in uh, just one second here alright so I got the utility copied over here the utility in this case is called Fistbug V and the V is for verbose there's actually two test programs that the guy that discovered this bug wrote and this is findable on a Google search type in Fistbug or Fistbug V Dot exe and you'll come up with all kinds of stuff about this bug. In fact, I've got a link in the video description to the site that actually posted this guy's original messages about this bug. Very cool. This site is also an extremely good site for information on all kinds of processors, including the U5S, believe it or not. Very interesting site. Definitely worth a look just about any vintage processor you'd ever want to know anything about is on that site. Alright, so let's go ahead and boot Callisto down into DOS here. Let's see if she's got a dirty processor up in that motherboard slot there. Fist Bug V. And we got a pass on everything here. So it says Dan 0411 not found, which is the I don't know, technical designation for this. It's called a math bug. But I'll refer to it as the fist bug in this video. <laughs> so yeah, this processor is clean. So Callisto is not a dirty girl after all. She's got a clean processor up in that motherboard. Alright, so the next system I'm going to test is the Sony Vio PCV200 system that I did a video on a couple years ago. And we'll see if that system's got a fist bugged processor in it. I'm imagining that uh, if there's any likely candidates to have the fist bug, it would be the Pentium 2 233. I would assume Intel probably fixed this bug quietly before it turned into, into another FDIF bug incident. 
Well, we'll find out. I guess we'll see if that system's got the bug or not. I haven't dug this system out for... This poor little vial hasn't seen power in probably a couple years, whenever it was last time, well, when I did that video, actually. Nice little system here, in case no one ever bothered to watch that video. Nice little door right there, it lets you slide down that top cover there. Exposes your floppy drive, CD-ROM, this one has a zip disk in it. And you got the front I.O. porch for your camera and S-Video, pretty cool. You got a little button here for your video 2 input selector right there. This thing's got a uh, ATI all in wonder card of some sort in it. Capture card. Alright, so let's go ahead and power that old girl on. This system does take a little while for it to boot up. I just love Sony's, they're just so cool. Alright, so I got the little vial booted up here. Got the Fist Bug V copied over. Let's go ahead and boot this sucker down into DOS if it'll go. Ta da Damn chair. <sighs> okay, there we go. Fist Bug V. Let's see if this one's got a dirty scoundrel up in its little slot. Ooh, holy moly. We've got fail all over the place. <clears throat> bug has been found. Fist bug is present on the Sony Vial Pentium 2 233 here. Look at that. Proving that uh, obviously Intel was made aware of this bug and secretly fixed it before it became an, uh, another FDIF bug incident. We do have a fail here. Now, this particular bug, my understanding, the quickly brief description of it uh, that I read uh, is basically the bug is a bug is present in when it converts certain mathematical calculations to integer that's basically the gist of it which seems to me like that would actually be kind of a problem but as you can see this is present on this processor and obviously Intel fixed it at some point. So let's see if Fistbug is present on the Pentium Pro. I bet you money it is. I'll bet you money it is. We'll find out here. Alright, let's get this Pentium Pro cracking here. All 200 megahertz of Intel Pentium Pro coming to life there. Yeah. This uh, computer definitely gets its rear end going a little bit quicker than that Sony Vio does. I should make sure I plugged in. I did not plug in the network cable. I'm going to get that utility transferred off of off the server here. All right. All right, I just copied over Fist Bug V from the server. This is the computer I beat blood on. Quite fun. Never played blood. I highly recommend it. All right. Let's see here. My guess is that this is going to have the FDIV bug because it's, well, it's prior to the Pentium 2. 
That would make sense. Yep. Yep, as you can see, the Pentium Pro here does indeed have the fist bug present. Everything is a fail. Bug found. Fist bug has been discovered in the Pentium Pro 200 processor. Kind of makes me wonder if all Pentium Pro processors have this bug. This is a 256K cache processor. So, at what point did Intel ever fix it on the Pentium Pro? I don't know. Since it's present on the Pentium 2, kind of makes me think no. Um, the Blacktop Pentium Pro, that might be a different story. Because that is a little bit newer than these Gold Top ones. So I might have to test that at some point. But yes, Pentium Pro, in my case, does have this bug. So two out of three have failed the fist bug test. You know, <laughs> the name fist bug. I, I don't know why the guy came up with that name. I don't know. Anyway, so anyway, if you've got a Pentium Pro or a Pentium 2 processor based computer, go ahead and fist bug that processor and see if you happen to have a bug processor that you might not have ever known existed. Take care, everyone. Peace out. Fist bug. <laughs> Golly. Of all the names.